All right, I'm going to hand you the leash. You're not going to say anything to the dog. Step one is you're going to just use the leash to keep her off of you. All right? We do that by up and out. And we don't say anything. We just allow discomfort to happen because I don't want you climbing on me so that you can't scratch me all up. All right? Make sense? When she gets a little calm-ish, right hand, thumb loop, close our hand over it. These two fingers hold our slack. Our hands are at our sides, and we move like normal. All right, so do me a favor. Normal, walk across the room. Would you say that's your normal walk? Yes. Walk back to your chair. So your normal walk. So when I give you the leash, I want you to do your normal walk, okay? In the course of that normal walk, you're going to have to use the leash to keep her off of you. Quiet. All right? But even though you're going to hold the leash, I want your hands to do the same thing. When you walk across the room, where are your arms and hands? Relax at your sides, swinging with your normal gait. Right. right? Right. When we get to this point, the first thing is she's going to be climbing all over you. Because right. she's going, oh my God, my favorite second person. <laughs> or maybe my favorite, favorite person. That's hard to right? But once you get her to not climb all over you, then she'll settle into the work. Okay. okay? But what happens when I put the leash in people's hands to do this work, they forget how to walk. And they start doing all kinds of weird things. So you're going to hear me say things like, one of the normal things that happens once she calms down is as you're walking, your right hand is going to come up. And I'm going to say, drop your right hand. Okay. Right? So when I say drop your right hand, everybody goes, oh. So, if your right arm starts doing something weird, I'm going to say drop your right arm. Just relax it. Relax it. Normal. Mm -hmm. Right? Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So here's another trick while she's settled. We can see it on camera. Right? She's laying down. Right? If I put my foot on the leash, is there slack in the leash? <laughs> There is slack in the leash. What do you mean from, that? from my foot to the dog. There's like six, you can't see it because she laid on. Okay. The collar's loose and there's like six inches of leash. Okay. If she were to go, hey, it's not your turn. <laughs> if she were to go jump on me, what would happen? She doesn't have room to go. Oh, she would correct herself. Right. We'd let that happen. Okay. Right? right. I'll stand here all day and let the dog go boing, 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 boing until the dog figures out, huh? Maybe I should stop doing because I'm bringing that discomfort on myself, right. right? Some dogs will do it five or six times. Some dogs will do it once, okay? What we have to do is put our feelings away for how we think that happens. Who's doing this? Yeah, she's doing it, right? Now, I'll give her some slack because we don't have a down when she just laid down. I gave her just enough slack where she can stand up. Not enough slack to where she can get practice at jumping on me. Because we don't want that, right? right? Make sense? Yep. So right now, while you start walking, until she calms down, yeah. you can keep your 
left hand on the leash. Keep her off of you. Right? Are you ready? Just start walking. Right now, I'm just going to keep her off of you and keep her on your left side until she calms down. So find out, find one of the X's and stop moving and stand on the X and just stand there facing the camera. Just stop right there. I just want you to stand there and keep her off of you. And we're going to let her freaking calm down. So all you're doing is using the leash and collar to keep her off of you. Any discomfort that happens, it's on her. We're letting her do it. We're just facilitating, right? Now, as she's calmer, you can relax your arms and relax your grip. And we're still going to stand up for a few more moments. She does settle pretty quickly, right? But now that she's calmer, take your left hand off the leash. If she climbs on you, you can put your left hand back on the leash. Go ahead, correct that. Even if when you go to correct her, she's already off of you, hands still go on the leash and bring her up and off. So move your hand closer down the snap. Stand up. Come up on the collar. Until she stops. We don't have any other thing in the training yet to stop that other than to just disable her. Next time you see me, she'll have sit on command and we correct her failure to sit. So don't talk the whole time. It's just white noise right now. Okay. We're just disabling her uh, ability to climb all over. Okay. Right? Now you can relax the grip, take your left hand off. The dog's name, the command heel, and your left leg. All three of those things happen at the same time. Go ahead. She has a heel. So, now see where she's at? Yeah. Turn. No, I don't want you to pass the leash. Now use the leash to get her off of you. That needs to happen right away. So see how her mouth is on the leash? Hold on. So we reach down. Out! That's what you do if you put her, she puts her mouth on the leash. You see where I grabbed it? Now let go of everything else. Yes. And that's how... That's how we do it. I don't want you to practice grabbing her leg okay. and doing it. I want you to get a hold of her closer, let go of the leash, and untangle it that way. Gotcha. Right? Some dogs, when we go to grab their leg, even though we, hey, I'm trying to help you, we're untangling you. They go to bite at it, and I don't want your hands in there to bite at it. Right? So, untangle the leash first, because she stepped over it. So reach down close to the dog. Get a hold of it, pull it through her legs. There. Okay. Now, right thumb goes through the loop. Gather the slack before she tangles herself. Where do these fingers go? Close your hand over it. Gather. Come here, silly dog. It's on rollers. I'll do what I just told you not to do this <laughs> one time. That slack goes in those first two fingers. Right? Now start walking. She's a little calmer. Now you can let go with your left hand and let your arms hang normal. Right hand at your side. So now we can stop and untangle her. Grab a hold of her close collar. Got a hold of her. Straight up, make that discomfort unpleasant. She needs to stop that. Right. The next time she goes to climb on you, I want you to think like someone just grabbed your purse okay. and tried to steal it. Okay. And I want you to go out and snap it. Out? Right. Okay. Just like I did over here yeah. when she started flailing around. Yeah. Because she had the leash in her mouth. It doesn't go in her mouth. So I snapped and said out. What did she stop doing? She stopped putting her mouth on the leash. Right. Right. Make sense? Yeah. So she, you need, the next time she goes to climb on you, we've had Pull enough this. of it. Pull this. I want you to bounce her once yeah. and say, out. 
out. Right, but I want you to do like, like, um, King Arthur and Excalibur. When he grabbed the sword, he used all of his might to pull it out. Right. Yeah. We're not going to use all of our might to zing her across the room. Right. But I want you to tell her with a leash, with some meaning, dog, stop climbing on me. Right. Because you've tried multiple times to disable her, to right. stop it. Right. And she's like, yeah, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Right? So I want you to not, we're not taking it all the way to the extreme, but I want you to take it enough to where she cares to go, huh, maybe I should stop doing that. Make sense? Yep. She's calm now while she's next to you. When you start moving, she gets aroused. Yeah. So we need to knock that off. Okay. Right? So the excess leash goes in your first two fingers of your right hand. There. That's now, see how much leash she has? Drop, hold on. Keep your left hand there. Don't move. Let your right hand relax. See how much slack between your right hand and the dog? Too much. Make your loop bigger. Bigger. Make the loop bigger. Loop bigger. Yes. Right? Bigger. Left hand off the leash, right hand at your side. The three things that happen at once, the dog's name, the command heel, and your left leg, right? And if she's a little calmer now, just straight line up and down, like between the chair and the door, okay. back and forth, okay. right? Yeah. Go ahead. Gemma, heel. See how you moved your right hand? Get your left hand off the leash, relax your arms. Turn around and come back this way. Don't steer with your hand. Push, push that right hand like into the side of your leg. Right there. Turn around. Go back towards the door. Turn around and come back this way. You're trying to steer with that hand. Now use your left hand. Now you can reach down and she grab the cop. It gets under her body. Re you reach down. Untangle her. The next time she jumps on you, you need to snatch her up. Hold her there for like 1,001, 1,002, up off the ground, and then go back to what you're doing. Gather your leash correctly. Because if she stops jumping on you, she's gonna stop tangling the leash. Okay. Relax your hands at your side, normal arms, left hand off the leash. Start walking. Her name, her name, heel, and the left leg. Left hand off the leash. Gemma, heel. Left leg, that was your right. Left. Just keep moving. Okay. Right? See how you're already starting to twist that right hand? Let it relax like normal. And that's normal for everybody. They all, everybody wants to steer with our right hand. What I'm trying to teach you is how to move your body to move the dog. Gotcha. Right? Relax like normal. You're starting to walk like a zombie. <laughs> Just relax. Normal walk. The more normal you walk, the better the dog will move. Right? And then when you watch this video, you'll see what your right hand is doing. Let me take the leash for a moment, and I'll show you. Okay. Because a lot of people don't notice what I feel doing. it's going. Right. I feel Jenna, it's you. Going. Look at my right hand. Yeah. Where's my right hand? Next to your hip. Right? It's just natural swing. Right? And when your daughter joins the group with all the instructions, what I want her to do is watch, not the dog, watch the handle. We'll see the, Watch their feet. I couldn't see her when I was just doing that. Right. What'd you say? I don't see her. This is perfect, right? Okay. Am I supposed to? Hold on. Uh, it, all right, so this is the correct heel position. Okay. This is the correct grip on the leash, right? Right here. The okay. leash is draped below my knee. If I'm looking where I'm going, I can't see the dog. Right. But if I don't feel any tension on the leash and I can't see the dog, the dog is where they're supposed to be, right? So I can see where the dog is not. The dog's not out in front of me. I can't feel the dog. I can't feel the dog on the leash. So if I can see where the dog is not, and I don't feel the dog on the leash, and I'm holding the leash right, I don't need to look and see where the dog is. The dog is where they're supposed to be. If I can see where the dog is out in front of me, I need to make a turn. If I can feel tension on the leash, I need to make a turn. Right? Correcting for failure to heal. Right? Which is so unnatural to what most people have experienced with their dog, because we're spending everybody's dog usually. Out in front of them, dragging them everywhere. Right. So you can, make sense? So nice and relaxed, this is what it should be like, right? Okay?
what you were doing, and this is like leading her. Right. We lead with our body, right? If she doesn't move, and my first step is with my left leg, what's going to happen to the leash? My leg's going to catch the leash and make the dog move, right? Watch when I turn around. Watch this leg and the leash. Gemma, heel. My hand is at my side. When I turn around, if she doesn't come with me, my leg catches the leash. Right? It's just touched it, right? We're, what we're doing is we're making it the dog's responsibility to maintain this position, right? If the dog stays in this position, they have to focus on their comfort. This is my job right now. I'm supposed to move with you in this spot, right? If the dog is doing this, what are they not doing? If the dog is healing where they're supposed to be, what are they not doing? They can look around and heal. They're not barking. They're not lunging. They're not jumping. Right? They're not scooping things up off the ground. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. So if we focus on do this thing, I've spent enough time to show you. Once you've shown me that you know it, I'll correct your failure. If we maintain the dog does this, all the other things that most people have a problem with, the dog is not doing. Right? So that I can walk by 100 people without her climbing and jumping on anybody. Because the last thing I told you was heal. Those behaviors are not compatible, right? Linda is fond of saying, a dog can't have two thoughts in their head at once, right? So, if the dog is thinking about you, they can't be thinking about anything else, right? If the dog's thinking about that person over there, are they thinking about you? So we have to do something to get them to think about us, right? So if the dog's all focused on that person over there, right? If I turn and go that way, either the dog is going to go, oh, you're going this way, or the dog is going to find the end of the leash and go, oh, you're going this way, right? I just step off. You see how that happened with the leash? My, my, my leg caught the leash and made the dog move. My leg caught the leash. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Yes. I don't have to say anything, I don't have to do anything, the leash stays loose. Right? Yes? You want to walk through here? Sure. Can I come in? Yeah, you can come in if you It's right out of Talladega Nights. 
Ricky Bobby, right? I'm giving you, you've been walking your whole life. I think it's control. It feels like there's more control. You've been walking your whole life doing this, right? Now I'm, I'm giving you different instructions, and you're like, I don't know how to walk. I'm not even aware that my right arm is doing these weird things, right? Relax it more. This is where the dog should be. Can you see where she's not? I can't see her. If you're looking where you're going, you can't see the dog, right? I can't right? see her. Can you feel her on the leash? Yes, I can. But she's not pulling. No. Right? No. I feel, I just feel like she's Just a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now stop moving. Now she doesn't have sit on command or doing sit mold, but where did she stop? Right there? Okay. She's calmer. Calmly walk over and sit down. Do you see how you twitched your hand? Yes. 